Ohio got the muscle. Hello, YouTubers. And to Stephen K. Hayes. Found out that he has a channel on here. Cool. Um, this one is Blowgun Ninja Fat. Here we got is a homemade blowgun. It's a pretty good one. It's shorter for, the, for a reason. Now, if I was wearing my gi, this will hide right in the back of the gi. So that way. I know where it's at. But Ninja Fact has it. This is also a breathing tube. And a minister of powder poison. Blown right in the eyes or in the face of the enemy. Also used as a snorkel for underwater. I hadn't tried it out yet underwater yet, but I'm willing to do it and film it. But the thing is, the dart. There was a lot of debate that this won't kill you. Hitting the right areas. Of the human body would but it would probably take more than this one but but spread with poison I believe this thing will just put down an elephant if it can go through its high tough uh, high skin tough skin but to a human it'd be a lot easy it'd be a lot easier but it is a good craft to learn usually silent and deadly And at this state, away from each other, it won't hurt you. But I will be doing more tests on this. I did have some videos on the last channel that I did. Well, actually, the very first channel I did. A certain somebody didn't like it. And kept on fighting with me. So I kept on fighting back. There is a lot of things that. People don't understand. About. Nijutsu. And Nijutsu. Is starting to come back. Around. Yeah. During the 80's. Nijutsu was pretty. Fascinating. When I was growing up, I read about it. But sometimes most of the information was mis delayed or said. But this is the year of getting the right info. Getting the knowledge and the training right and improve yourself.
Now, a lot of people think I'm perpetuating the cycle of hate. No, I'm trying to end the cycle of hate. My videos have been redone a certain type of way. So it would get everyone back on the swing of things. Blowgun is a good survival tool as well for the old style which a lot of people don't understand that mm. but I do honor Stephen K. Hayes and Hatsumi in my videos it's because they put a lot of influence out there in the Nijitsu community. Yes, they do. And I love them for it. It's because one time Stephen K. Hayes did say, I'd rather see a person do the art and not get paid. And I'm not getting paid for it. But, I just don't know what's wrong with these people who put themselves above Nijitsu. I ain't gonna say any names. I just usually get them coming on to me and other people. Bad-mouthing people. I'm just getting sick of it. But I'm not fighting with these people. I'm trying to make them see it in a certain way. That what they're doing is wrong. That you should not fight. Just because Nijitsu, if someone is in Nijitsu, are just starting to learn Nijitsu, and these people end up saying, hey, he's not doing jitsu. How dare he? That's the thing. What they do not know is damaging the credibility of jitsu. There is a long lineage. It's very long. Anthony Cummins already did it? Did the lineage? That's a very long lineage. And I got the videos on that. You know, I honored that guy too because he's he, he just tells the truth as he reads the actual scrolls, the actual thing. I mean, he's got access that he can get close to these things. And I love him for it. He's a nice person. Hey, Anthony. He's very, he's very, you know, very good at what he does. He works hard. And Ninja Fat speaks for themselves about the blowgun. It was both a weapon and survival tool. Snorkel. And the minister of poison. And death. That's all for the day. And I hope you like this video. I know the haters are gonna pin ping it so bad it's pitiful. I laugh at them. <laughs> but eventually Eventually, they will see it as a right message. But they it to all the ninja jitsu practitioners out there that share it with me, and I share back in a possible way. And I love y'all guys for it. 
Yes. The ones who do share. I share back. Well, that's it for today. Thank you, YouTube.